Fire Sheep Firefox plugin can be used to hijack a session uh, on an open Wi-Fi hotspot uh, for services like Facebook and Twitter. On my test setup, I have uh, a Linksys router that's set up uh, as an open access point with no encryption. Uh, you can see on the right-hand screen is uh, my personal laptop. Uh, you can see it's connected to my Fire Sheep network. And on the left-hand screen is my uh, NASA Odin laptop. And it's also connected to the, to the Fire Sheep network. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, bring up on my Odin machine, I'm going to use as essentially the client machine. Uh, I'm going to bring up Safari. And on uh, my personal machine, I'm going to use Firefox. And uh, I have the Fire Sheep plugin running here. So I'll use this, uh, this machine as, as, quote, the hacker machine. So first thing I want to do is show you that when I uh, bring up Facebook uh, on this machine, you can see I get the login page. And that's because uh, I have no uh, active sessions uh, for Facebook. So you'll see when uh, I hijack the session, you'll see that I haven't logged in with this browser. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, to my client machine, bring up Facebook, and uh, I'm going to log in. I logged in here as, as me. It, it, it remembered my uh, my login because I have a cookie there. So you can see I'm logged in as me. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enable Fire Sheep, and th this is what makes it so so simple. Is all I have to do after installing the uh, the plugin is just click the Start Capturing button. So we're going to sit for a minute. It's going to send out some packets uh, looking for uh, uh, the Facebook cookie on my other machine. So there you see. Uh, I refreshed the page and it, it uh, captured the cookie uh, and actually used the cookie to log into my uh, Facebook account uh, as me and uh, grab my, my profile picture. So all I have to do um, is just click, double click on that, uh, on that profile and you can see I've, I'm now uh, logged in as uh, Alex Plyne and I can, I essentially without logging in just by capturing my cookie I've, I've hijacked my identity uh, in Facebook and now I can, I can do anything you know Alex Plyne can do. So I can uh, you know, I could post something nasty on, on my profile. Uh, and so, you know, you can imagine that, uh, you know, if this were a NASA account, you can imagine that, that that's something that would be uh, fairly embarrassing uh, as, as an, as for the agency. Uh, the other thing that allows you to do uh, is to be able to uh, make some minor settings to the to the Facebook account. So, for example, I could go, I could edit friends, uh, and you know, if if nothing else, I could just re wreak havoc wreak havoc by um, you know deleting people on my friends list. I could also uh, do things like uh, change privacy settings. For example, I have my Facebook account uh, locked down pretty tight. But I could go in here and uh, set all of my privacy settings to e everyone, and uh, you know, if, if this were somebody else's account, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know, you might not even notice it, and that would result in some uh, essentially information leakage. Uh, but you know, one of the things that uh, things like Facebook do prevent is making any uh, changes to the account settings. So if I went for example, go in here and try to uh, make some uh, some changes to my account settings, it's going to make me uh, log in again. You, so you have to essentially authenticate before you make some significant change. So for example, I couldn't change the, pa the, the, the password or the email address associated with the account. So that uh, is something that Facebook does do that, that prevents the account from, from uh, completely being uh, stolen. 
So really, the, the vulnerability here is essentially a privacy or information leakage. Or embarrassing, you know, in the case of uh, uh, a NASA a Facebook page, uh, some embarrassment to the agency. Um, so a cu couple of things here. Uh, I'm going to log into Amazon, for example, and you can see I, I logged in here, uh, and it, you know, it, it had remembered me. And you can see um, over here, uh, FireSheep has uh, has detected that cookie, and uh, now I can browse uh, as Alex Klein. And you know, on Amazon, uh, I just wanted to sh show that, that, that this does work with with other sites, and uh, but it really doesn't do much more than let you let you browse browse as me. Maybe you could see my wish list and things like that, but. You know, for example, if I uh, if I wanted to go buy a book, here's a book that a lot of people like. Uh, if I add that to my cart, and then I wanted to check out, again, it's going to make me authenticate. Uh, so, so in order to get to, get to something like that, so I couldn't actually buy. You know, if you if if your account was your session was hijacked, uh, you know, nobody could actually buy anything. They couldn't make any changes to your account, that kind of thing. So again, it's it's more of a privacy thing. Now I'll also do this. Uh, I'll bring up Twitter here. S same thing here. I'll log in. You sign in. Here is me. And it only takes about that that long just to snip that cookie. And once again, I can browse uh, browse my Twitter page. So, for example, same sort of thing. I could post something uh, as Alex Plein. And so since this is public, I'm going to say something nice about myself. Anyway, another thing you can see is that uh, I have a, a, a Google service running uh, in the background that, uh, that FireSheep has also picked up. So again, uh, for Google, uh, just basic search, uh, this would give a, a, a hijacker the, the ability to look at my... Uh, uh, my search history and, and some other things that are that are public, my iGoogle page, um, but again, things like Gmail uh, going to require me to log in, so n not so much a vulnerability there. So another thing that uh, that's possible to use to, to prevent this is a an extension, a Firefox extension called. HTTPS everywhere, and it's a it's an extension that's um, was written by the Electronic Fr uh, Frontier Foundation, and essentially uses JavaScript and an ex a Firefox extension to uh, force your browser to be HTTPS HTTPS all the time, uh, assuming the service supports that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop capturing. I'm going to clear this. Uh, this history here, get rid of all of these. Okay, then over here I'm going to uh, kill Safari and I'm going to bring up Firefox. And I brought up this version because this version I have the, the extension HTTPS everywhere installed. So let me just show you that here it's HTTPS everywhere. So just to show you, it, it doesn't work with all sites, but it has a list of known sites that, that it does work for, uh, <clears throat> most notably here, Facebook, 
New York Times, Washington Post, uh, Google Search, um, Wikipedia, PayPal, but they, they, they require HTTPS all the time. And uh, I believe also, yeah, also Twitter there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, Facebook again. Oops, wrong computer. And so you, if you notice the URL, it's uh, HTTP. But when I when I go, it's the what the extension is going to do is going to flip it to HTTPS. So now you can see that uh, I've got an encrypted page. I'm going to log in. And what what it would typically do if you if you uh, were to log in securely with Facebook, it would then flip you back to an H T an H T P or unencrypted uh, page. But you can see here, uh, it's kept at H T P S, and that's the doing of the H T T P S uh, everywhere extension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start capturing again, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, I'm going to browse a little bit around on Facebook, change a few pages, and what you'll see on the machine running Fire, uh, Fire Sheep is that uh, because this Fire, this Facebook page and that all of this traffic is encrypted, Fire Sheep uh, doesn't detect the cookie because it's all just random noise uh, for Fire Sheep, the traffic going over the air. It's because it's encrypted. Also, I'll, I'll uh, bring up Twitter here, and it'll be the same thing. So again, you see it's HTTP, and it flips it to HTTPS. One of the nice things here now is the login page is HTTPS, so that um, you can see that my, my credentials can't be hijacked uh, using other tools as well. So once again, as, as I uh, as I browse in through uh, Twitter here, you notice on the Fire Sheep machine um, that there it's not capturing any traffic. Again, let, let me also bring up Amazon here. So you see with Amazon. Uh, when you're not when you're not logged in, uh, it keeps it as HTTP. But once you sign in, what typically happens here with Amazon is, is it is it flips you back to uh, HTTP, but you'll notice here it, it didn't do that, and that's the doing that's the doing of uh, the HTTPS everywhere plugin. And notice again, you don't see any traffic that's being captured by Firesheep. 